Explosions are common in rocket engineering, but what if we told you that SpaceX has experienced not one, not two, but several Starship explosions? That's right. The company has had a string of failed Starship test flights, resulting in fiery explosions and crumpled metal. But don't worry. These explosions aren't signs of failure, but rather crucial learning opportunities for SpaceX. In this video, we'll fire into every SpaceX Starship explosion and what the company learned from each one. Many of these failures happen simply because Starship is a new system trying to do unusual things. Let's look at some Starship explosions. First explosion out is when the Starship SN1 tank ruptured in the SpaceX pressure test. It was a night that would go down in SpaceX history, not in a good way. On February 28, 2020, the SN prototype was being put through a rigorous liquid nitrogen pressure test at its launch pad near Boca Chica, Texas. But then, disaster struck. The midsection of the prototype suddenly buckled and shot upward before crashing to the ground in an explosion. Despite the setback, SpaceX founder Elon Musk was already looking ahead to the next iteration of the prototype. He took to Twitter to express his optimism and determination to learn from the failure. In one tweet, he even joked about the explosive event, asking his followers, So, how was your night? while sharing a video of the prototype's destruction. While the failure was undoubtedly disappointing, it was also a significant learning experience for the SpaceX team. The SN1 prototype was solely intended for preliminary testing, and SpaceX intends to employ upcoming Starship prototypes to undertake more challenging tests, leading to orbital flights. Michael Baylor of Next Space Flight remarked on Twitter that there is no need for significant concern, as SpaceX follows a pattern of testing, failing, fixing, and retesting until they achieve their objective. He noted that they will learn from their experience and ultimately succeed. The second explosion to be mentioned is the Starship SN3. During another cryogenic pressure test for prototype SN3, things took a turn for the worse. On April 2, 2020, the prototype tank collapsed, leaving the team scratching their heads and looking for answers. The goal of the test was to demonstrate the prototype's ability to withstand the high pressure of very cold fuel that is loaded ahead of launch. But things could have gone better. Despite the setback, SpaceX founder Elon Musk again took to Twitter to share some insights. According to Musk, SN3 had passed an ambient temperature test the night before, but some valves leaked at cryo temperature, which means very low temperatures. Musk in his tweet said he expected this was likely a test configuration mistake, but the team plans to fix and retest it soon. Starship SN4 explosion after an engine test. It was a test that didn't go according to plan, resulting in a fiery explosion. On May 29, 2020, SpaceX's Starship SN4 prototype met a dramatic end just a minute after a Raptor rocket engine test. The cause of the explosion was initially unknown, but SpaceX founder Elon Musk quickly assured the public that the company was learning from every test and moving forward. Despite the setback, SN4 had already achieved a significant milestone by surviving five static fire engine tests, making it the longest lived and most tested Starship prototype at the time. After the explosion of the SN4, SpaceX went on to develop the SN5 and SN6 prototypes, but it was the intentional failure of SN7 that garnered attention. The company pushed the prototype to its limit during a pressure test on June 23, 2020, resulting in a planned explosion. Interestingly, the first test of the SN Starship tank leaked but did not explode, which was a promising sign for the program's development. Musk acknowledged this in his comments on June 15, 2020, indicating that the company was shifting from 301 stainless steel to 304L material. The Starship SN8 crash on December 9, 2020, the SN8 prototype made a daring flight, achieving several milestones before failing to land and exploding in a fiery inferno. The prototype blasted off to an altitude of approximately 7.8 miles, 12 and a half kilometers, powered by three Raptor engines that functioned flawlessly. At the zenith of its flight, the rocket shut down its engines and performed a complex maneuver known as a belly flop, which would allow it to glide back to the launch pad. After executing this maneuver, the rocket reignited its engines in a final attempt to land upright. Unfortunately, the rocket was descending too fast due to lower-than-expected fuel tank header pressure, causing it to crash and explode on impact. Despite the mishap, Elon Musk was pleased with the progress, taking to Twitter to express his excitement. SN8 did great, he wrote. 
Even reaching Apogee would have been great, so controlling all the way to putting the crater in the right spot was epic. On February 2nd, 2021, Starship SN9 soared higher than its predecessor, SN8, achieving an impressive altitude of approximately 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers. During the flight, the prototype executed a complex horizontal flip, simulating re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, and was set to land smoothly. However, the landing was too hard, resulting in a fiery explosion that captured the world's attention. SpaceX's principal integration engineer, John Innsprucker, said that the team had collected valuable data from the flight despite the explosion. During SpaceX's launch webcast, Innsprucker remarked, We got a lot of good data. The primary objective was to demonstrate control of the vehicle in the subsonic re-entry. Looked very good, and we will take a lot out of that. While the landing wasn't a success, the test was still considered a step forward in developing the Starship prototype. The Starship SN10 Touch and Explode The SN10 prototype of the Starship spacecraft made a historic flight that ended in a dramatic explosion. On March 7, 2021, the SN10 reached a planned altitude of 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers, performed the tricky horizontal re-entry flip, and landed safely on the ground. But that wasn't the end of the story. Shortly after landing, flames appeared near the base of the spacecraft, and a few minutes later, the SN-10 exploded on the launch pad. It was later revealed that the spacecraft had come in too fast for the landing due to low thrust, likely caused by a fuel header tank issue. The resulting damage led to the explosion, crushing the legs of the landing system and part of the engine skirt. Despite the setback, SpaceX founder Elon Musk remained optimistic and emphasized that the SN10 had completed several key milestones before the explosion. In what seems like a pattern of explosive endings, SpaceX's Starship SN11 met a similar fate to its predecessor prototypes. On March 30, 2021, the SN11 prototype lifted off in a thick fog to an altitude of 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers, and returned to Earth for a landing attempt. Unfortunately, the onboard cameras cut out six minutes into the flight and it exploded above the landing pad before returning to Earth. In a tweet by SpaceX's launch commentator John Innsprucker, he called it another exciting test. He also said that the Starship 11 would not return, so there would be no landing. Elon Musk later took to Twitter and revealed that Engine 2 of the three Raptor engines on Starship SN11 experienced problems during ascent that only worsened when it reignited for the landing burn. Something significant happened shortly after the landing burn started. Should know what it was once we examine the bits later today, he wrote. After the SN11's failure, SpaceX stood down from launches for a time as it worked through several more iterations, and it would pay off. Finally, on May 5, 2021, SpaceX achieved a monumental victory with its Starship SN15 prototype, landing safely and without exploding. It was a much-needed win for SpaceX, as previous prototypes had experienced catastrophic explosions during testing. The successful flight, which coincided with the 60th anniversary of Alan Shepard's historic space launch, demonstrated SpaceX's ability to apply the lessons from previous failures to make significant progress in developing Starship. Since then, SpaceX has moved forward with more Starship prototypes and its Super Heavy boosters, intending to achieve orbital flight eventually. In August 2021, SpaceX reached another milestone when it stacked its Starship SN20 on top of a Super Heavy, making it the world's tallest rocket. SpaceX's resilience and adaptability, demonstrated through their commitment to learning from failures and explosions, is crucial for advancing the Starship program and spacefaring. Lessons learned from each explosion have refined the Starship's design, safety, and performance, paving the way for more reliable and cost-effective space transportation systems. The Starship program exemplifies the importance of embracing failure as an opportunity for growth, fostering innovation and risk-taking, and persevering in the face of challenges. As SpaceX continues to learn and make progress, the future of space exploration looks more promising than ever.